what up guys we're here today back again with another vlog uh, just going through a car wash right now this is the best lighting it's nighttime so here we go um, don't usually do touch car washes but kind of a reason behind it today so but yeah let's get it All right, what up, guys? We are here at Del Frisco's real quick. Oh, there he is. Hello. There's old Jackie Dog. There he is. Um, we're about to head to Indiana to wrap this puppy. And Let uh, me go ahead and let you guys know, all right? Oh, gosh. If you are ever in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, yes. yeah? No! God. <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, cut that. Del Frisco's. <laughs> Best steak, Ruth Chris, nothing. There's nothing, there's no such thing as Ruth Chris, okay? Jeff Ruby's, Morton's, all that. No such thing. No such thing, Del Frisco's is the place to be. Every day. There's my cut. There's the big dog, big dog in the cut. Big, big dog. dog. <laughs> So now that we got old Jack, oh my gosh, this guy. And now we got Jack um, here. We're going to go to Indiana. Uh, that's where I'm getting my car wrapped. And it's going to be pretty sick. But this is kind of just like the briefing. We're going to go there, take off the handles, and just help the dude out because he's friends with uh, my friend Jack and now with me as well. So we've just got to hook up now to do wraps all the time, anytime but it's about a 40 minute drive or something, so here we go. across the bridge now. What up? Hey bro, so yeah, this is the first time I've ever opened this car up on the expressway. It's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, the SP just happens to be a little bit faster, but, you know, she hangs in there. It's those turbos, though. I'll try to turn my one with that fucking car. Am I taking my parents' house, though? The ST? Huh? Can you take the SPD up here house? Yeah, maybe, because it's a lot more inside. Whoa! Wow. Whoa! Hey! Welcome to, welcome to Domino's. This, this is service at its finest. This is what happens when you get a car wrapped by me. <laughs> but... Yeah, so while we're waiting, we just um, rip four-wheelers and sit in this massage chair, and uh, then he's done within two hours. No, I'm just kidding. Well, where's he working? Uh, he works at Nimlock. No, that's actually his, uh, vis uh, vinyl visions. It's like, uh, his own personal little, uh, vinyl wrapping in this beautiful garage here. Uh, I mean, corporate but yeah, business. But yeah, he also works at, like, a, a professional, like, uh, what's it called? Nimlock. Nimlock. He, Nimlock he wraps, crafters, like, semi-trucks, uh, company cars, like whatever. Cop cars, if you need cop to get your cop cars wrapped. Cop cars. It's your guy. But then you come in here in this little secret shop and he gives you a beautiful deal. What's up, ripping wheels? <laughs> you He's just spinning. So, oh, yeah. 
check this out right here. Bought this car. Put it, all I gotta do is put a new fender on it, and then we're gonna wrap this puppy. Bada bing, bada boom. This takes like 30 seconds. All right, so we got the headlight out, which literally took like two minutes, and then unscrewed these little puppies. Oh, it's funny. Oh, you gotta, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. And then we're gonna pop this little guy over. I was feeling so much, bro. Oh. We need a 10 millimeter. Pop this little guy off. I was using like a little, uh, just like whatever they're called, a little squeezer squeeze. And then that's it. Then we pop this puppy out with the new one on. And then start probably taking off the handle bar, or the handle bars, door handles, and like smears probably. And then we can like detail really good. And yeah. that's about it. But I'm not going to do it. I mean, he is. Okay, there we go. Please just run like that. That's hard. Bro, that's... Come check this out. We should just run it like this, maybe? What's up with the markings? Because that's where it got hit. I'll put some fat, meaty tires on it, bro, and just burn out the city. No bumper, no Looks fenders. like a Lambo. You know what I'm talking about? Like, except in the back. Whenever they take off the bumper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so basically, um, you know, a lot of you guys probably think like having a rebuilt title car is scary or no one's gonna buy one or whatever, but like this was literally just a front bumper hit. Okay, so boom, we had to replace the quarter panel and a front bumper. And the uh, front bumper was already replaced, so I didn't have to do anything. And uh, then we're gonna wrap this. And uh, let's see, I need to buy fog lights for it. And like all in, I'm like, this is a hundred bucks. Um, fog lights are a hundred bucks. And then the wrap, I got a killer deal on, so I'm not even gonna tell you that. But I um, can't tell you all my secrets. But uh, literally, I mean, I got this car for $9,800. So when I say make 7,500 bucks in a day, I mean, buy a car for a crazy steal. And then now I know personally through research, Kelly Blue Book, local listings that I'm gonna make 7,500 bucks on this car. I'm gonna list it for 8,500 more dollars than when I bought it before because the Kelly Blue Book right now in this car is like 23 grand, 23 grand. And, I, and a lot of them are like we saw the other day for 25, 24, 20. Blah blah blah. This is like the ST2 package, so fully loaded, fully loaded. Apple CarPlay, Recaro seats, the whole shebang. Um, and so yeah, be, being a rebuilt title, you only really take are supposed to take off like 20 percent, like 20 to 40 percent, depending on like how bad of a wreck it was. And this wasn't bad, so you know, even I'm taking off more than 20 percent, so I'm gonna post it for 18.5 and probably sell it for 17.5. So. You know, that's a crazy steal for someone, and there's going to be like a $3,000 wrap on it. Uh, I'm going to powder coat these rims black, possibly, most likely. And they, these are just little things that you can do to make a car cool, and it took me like a couple days, literally. Like, I bought this car. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing about finding, like, steals. Um, you can, like, what I do every morning is wake up... Uh, and just refresh Facebook ads, like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, offer up any of those, and literally send out like anywhere from like 20 to 1,000 messages literally within like 30 minutes just offering stupid offers. You know, like just stupid offers straight up. A I lot mean, of people take them, and, and A look, lot of people do take them. And look, them. you're gonna get a lot of those guys that are like, screw you, blah, 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 and that's fine. You just keep on going, keep on going until someone says, fine, I need the money, yes. So. This guy had this thing up for 13 grand with not even being fixed or anything. I literally said, yo, I'll come with 9,500 cash today. And that was, and he had only had the ad posted for 30 minutes. And so he said, eh, I'll take 10. So I went there immediately. He lived like 15 minutes from my house, 20 minutes from my house. And I said, with like the things that I saw, I took to my mechanic and whatnot. I said, look, I'll give you 95. And he said, no. And so I said, look, 9,800 bucks. And you know there you go cash and so there there you go like I did all this within 30 minutes and from like I said doing a little research and after you do this for a while you kind of know how much you're gonna make 
blah, blah, blah. And like worst case scenario, I get tired of sitting around waiting. So I'd throw it up for three grand more and make three grand. But most likely, I mean, we're, we're pretty, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Like I think I'll probably make 7,500 bucks on it. So, and that's a good deal for somebody. And someone's going to love this car. It's only got 14,000 miles on it. And uh, they're getting it for like seven grand underneath the Kelly Blue Book value. So. guys uh we are it is currently let's see where's the clock 1 a.m and um we're driving back from indiana right now basically uh we kind of just killed a lot of time wasted a lot of time jokes around didn't get much done at all um pizza we got some pizza uh cleaned the car up a little bit not really but uh just kind of hung out with um the boys and he's gonna get to work on it tomorrow so it should be good to go uh by like friday today's tuesday so he, he's gonna do it pretty fast for real and like i said like sorry this is like really bumpy like i said <laughs> you're not always gonna make 7500 dollars like on a car obviously um now when you look like i do like constantly and are always waiting for deals that just pop up pop up and you have the money that you've worked up over doing this a couple times a couple small deals um or like cheaper cars you can then jump on those deals like you know whenever you find them so obviously sometimes it's going to be seventy five hundred dollars sometimes it's going to be ten thousand dollars sometimes it's going to be a grand um i always say if i can make at least a grand or, or two grand really is like the lowest i like to make on each car that's good and like if you know if you can make a grand in a week or a day even sometimes then go for it but you're not always going to be sitting here making seventy five hundred dollars on a car uh just so you guys know like it's not always like that but i don't want to you know give any false information or fake hope but yeah most of the time you're going to make around like anywhere from like three grand to five grand so yeah, you just got to push them out, find those deals, get them when you can, and that's about it, boys. But uh, we're going to drive home now. We got about 40 minutes to get home, and then uh, go to bed, and hopefully it'll start working on it tomorrow and send us some pictures. But Just wait till you guys see it. Like, this color, yeah, yeah it's going to look insane. Like, you will never see another ST. I mean, maybe. It's going to be <laughs> I mean, rare. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> but, you uh, might. But like I said, just doing these simple things really just bring the value up, you know, like crazy. Because then all of a sudden, you know, you make your car like special compared to all the other STs out there. Like, and then obviously, because there's a lot of STs for sale around uh, Kentucky at least, because obviously Ford's big here. And um, so, yeah, you just want to do special little things to your car and make it unique so you can sell it faster. But, uh, I mean, I'll probably have about 11 grand total in this car after doing everything in it, and probably post it for 18.5, and just you know probably take 17.5. Like, and like I said, worst case scenario, you know, I'm making like three 3,500 bucks, but I feel pretty good about this one. Like I said, I've been doing this now for about four or five years, and it's a pretty simple process. You just got to stick to it and stay consistent. But that's all for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that subscribe button, give a like, and maybe a comment. Uh, for those of you have, that haven't seen like the color of the wrap, let me know what you think I'm rapping or like what would be cool maybe for the FRS maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe feeling crazy? Maybe feeling crazy wrap the FRS gold? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah. Pink just, chrome. Pink chrome, how pink about chrome. that? That was up in the air. So comment down below, pink chrome, yes or no. <laughs> but uh, here we are actually coming out. Uh, here's the Louisville skyline. Pretty sick. Pretty sick little view here. New York City who?
<laughs> New York City. Ew. Hello, Atlanta. Hello, Louisville. But uh, that's it for tonight. So, peace.